Okay, first of all, I just want to apologize to anyone who's a regular stream watcher. Um, <laughs> my daughter, I think, has the flu. So when I would normally take her or do my stream tomorrow morning, I've got to take her to the doctor. And I was thinking, oh, I can do my stream tomorrow, but it is just ticking time bomb until the other kid gets it, until I get it. So that's why I changed my stream to tonight. It was a good time to be able to do it. So um, anyway, we're just trying to avoid the flu. Also, I thought this was a um, good way to test out streaming at in the evening because I've only streamed during the day. And um, that's been really fun and really awesome, but you know, when opportunities present themselves, it's okay to take them, I guess. And so I'm going to try out streaming at night. That might be better for some people. Um, but anyway, as always, I will still post this. And um, so if you miss, if you are a morning person and you missed it, I'll post it on Thursday or Friday so that you can catch up on this stream. So as you can tell in the description, today I'm going to be making a Christmas tree out of all dollar store stuff. So I went to the dollar store and just grabbed lots of things. Um, I've never done this before. I have never even made a miniature Christmas tree before, not even like out of a bottle brush. I know I've seen that a lot. So I didn't buy a bottle brush. I um, bought a bunch of random stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Let me make sure I can see chat in case anyone is feeling talkative. But let me show you what I got at the dollar store. And here we go. So we'll see. I'm a little nervous because this is the first stream that I've ever done with um, out knowing exactly what I'm doing. I'm very much a planner. And so all my other streams I've known, I need to do this, I need to do this next, I need to do this to finish it, I need to do all these things in order to get it done. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So this is a little bit nerve wracking for me. Anyway, let's get started with my um, dollar store haul of all the things that I have that I can use for this. So these are like the little sprigs um, that they have. And I liked these little, um, little bobbles on here. I thought if I tore them apart, they could make like some cute ornaments or I could just stick them in the tree all together. Like I said, I'm not quite sure the plan. Um, and then they had these individual, it's called faux snow. Sounds like slang, faux snow. <laughs> and so um, these could be made into little ornaments painted. I'm sure this is going to make a huge mess when I open it up, but that's okay. Um, I did buy like a little miniature tree. Hello, Spiritual Casino. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let, let me know if you're watching this, if this is a good time for you. Um, I'm not completely set on doing morning streams, but it helps me know what works for you guys. So I just bought, you know, a little dollar store chair. Um, I thought it could be like sitting next to the Christmas tree maybe. Um, these are just little like ornament decorations and I don't really like how they are now but I figured that I could paint them or remake them something along those lines uh, these are mini wavy plates and I was looking for something specifically to be the base of the tree and so I was thinking I could maybe drill through this and make it like a base I don't know I was trying to be inventive and then I got some poles. One could probably be the center of the tree. Um, yeah, that's the current plan. Okay, here's some other random things. I thought I could make um, some little ornaments out of Christmas ornament hooks. So I don't know how I thought I would do that, but that's what these are. Um, oh, there was this scarf and you know you always need a tree skirt so I was looking for something that could maybe be like a little tree skirt or 
uh, yeah, that's basically the whole idea. <laughs> um, hi, Mariah. Nice to see you again. I'm glad you could join me at night instead of in the morning. Um, so yeah, that's what that guy is. I got some tinsel. Now I know this isn't tinsel that's in miniature scale. I was thinking I could cut it thinner, but that's going to be a lot of work because I like the vintage trees that have like all the tinsel hanging off the branches. Um, so that's, I don't know. I don't know. I was just grabbing things. And this is all from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is just a little twine, green twine. And this is some raffia. So some of this may just not get used, but I can always use it for other things. Um, and also in the search of looking for a tree base, I got this little, it's like the foam you can stick um, flowers into. And so I might have to like cut this and stick the stick in <laughs> uh, to get like the start of the tree. So yeah. Um, and then we've got this mossy stuff, so like maybe more of, you know how they have those trees where they have like all the um, natural looking sticks sticking out? This is what it kind of reminded me of. And here is what's going to be the basis of our tree. Um, I felt like the, sp the spines, is that the right word? The, um, I don't know, I'm going to say spines on these are uh, thin enough that they might look okay in miniature. Obviously I'm gonna have to cut it down, but like this is a huge experiment, so um, it may not look good at all. And then you guys will know what not to do <laughs> if you're deciding to make a tree. So I'll be saving you some dollars here. Um, and here's some red twine similar to the green. And then I also, I went ahead and just got a $1 top coat um, to make my ornaments shiny. I figured that would be easy to just put a glossy finish on them because you want them to kind of shine. And then the one thing that I didn't get at the Dollar Tree, but it was only $1.99, is I did get these little Christmas lights at Hobby Lobby. I looked because I thought maybe the Dollar Tree would have one of those like light up necklaces. Um, that I could kind of wrap around the tree, but they didn't have anything like that. So these don't light up, but um, you know, you have to have lights on a Christmas tree, right? So, okay, so this is my haul. Um, again, if you're just joining me, I usually do live streams on Wednesday mornings. I had to switch it because my daughter has the flu. It's just a matter of time before my son has it and my husband and you know, I could wake up with it tomorrow. So while I'm feeling good and while my husband is here to take care of that, um, I decided to go ahead and start this live stream because I was so excited about this experiment that I wanted to make sure I had time for it and I wasn't um, just like, oh, I have to get through this or skipping it all together because I love the Christmas season. Um, so yeah, it's one of my favorite holidays and just the thought of making this was really exciting for me. So I'm going to just make a big pile of stuff back here and I'm going to get started on this Christmas tree. <laughs> my uh, husband and my daughter are watching me from the other room. Hi! Um, they are, he's um, being very sweet to my daughter. She's not feeling good. So I told her, I already told her good night and I hope she feels better and I'll come check on her when my live stream is over. So like I said, the plan is to maybe start with these, these little dowels. I'm thinking this is going to be the center of my tree. So the first step is going to be to get this to stand up and be pretty sturdy. And um, that's what this guy comes into play, but already I also got these. Because um, obviously this thing is going to be too big for a 12 scale 
Christmas tree. So um, I'm going to kind of experiment with this because if I can get it to kind of stand up on this, Actually, I just got an idea as I was talking, I got an idea. Okay, so um, I may have to cut this down, which may sound horrible. So I'm really sorry if you have sensitive ears. Cutting foam typically does not sound good. So already I just kind of sliced the side of it and it was oh, gross sounding. Okay, so um, my thought is that this can still be my base but I'm just going to kind of cut out a basic shape from this to put on top of it. So let's, uh, I don't know if I should break this or not. So this is all the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't see in my regular videos because I have hours upon hours to sit there and doubt myself. So that's why I like being a prepared person who knows exactly what I am doing all the time <laughs> but you know that's not life all right so I'm gonna cut this guy down a little bit so the other thing I could do sorry if y'all can't hear me over the foam okay so the other thing I could do is kind of fill the bottom of this base in no, I don't like that. I'm thinking I'm going to try and glue the foam on top of here and stick the stick in. I think that's the plan. So, uh, is anybody already decorated for Christmas? I have a tree up, but that is it. Um, actually, I have something on the front porch but the tree is pretty much all I've gotten to so far uh, with whoo be careful did y'all see that I almost just cut my hand <laughs> um, so if you're doing this project be careful be very careful with your exacto knife all right let's see um, what was I saying okay I have a tree up I have something on the front porch um, Leslie's got her tree up. Hi, Leslie. Um, yes, I think, you know, if you've got the tree up, that's, that's good enough, right? I mean, some years, ah, got it. Some years, if you can just get the tree up, then you're doing good. You're doing good. Because I've had some years where I didn't even get the tree up, you know? So, okay, does anyone know... If foam melts with hot glue. Does anyone know? We are about to find out because I do not know. Let me I want to cut this down just a little bit and y'all think if no one's ever seen my stuff yet. Okay then they're probably going this lady's a little bit crazy foam crazy but that's okay. All right, so I am just going to um, go for it because otherwise we're going to be here all night if I don't just go for it. All right, so we've got a thing of glue. So we got our first layer of foam on here. Now I'm going to put a second layer. Hopefully this will be easy to put my, this dowel rod through, but we'll see. And hopefully it will be straight. Um, I do not have a room for this tree, because <laughs> um, my, ooh, hot glue um, strings, uh, my main dollhouse project is the Adams family and I would love to do like an Adams family tree it's like black and gray and um, those kinds of things but I just haven't and um, since that's probably not most people's things I just decided to do a traditional miniature Christmas tree and 
you know, I'll probably put it, like, I have a little shelf with, has, it has a bunch of, like, miniature fig figurines and things, so, um, yeah, I'll probably put it over there just during the Christmas season. I would love to do an Adam's Family tree. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Leslie would like to see that. Um, uh, maybe next year. Maybe I'll have, like, the, um, the living room, like, finalized and be ready for the Adamses to have. <laughs> Let's see. Um, maybe I'll just have it, you know, ready to go and, uh, okay. What was I saying? I don't know. We're ready to stick the stick in. Hopefully it will go in straight. We got to trust my skills of making things straight. All right. We have a grid here and I think it looks pretty straight, fairly straight. Okay, now let's see how tall this is. See if we will be okay with how tall this is. I had a nine foot tree that we had to get rid of. So this is about seven feet. So I think that's pretty good. It could go into uh, many doll houses. So um, I'm going to go with seven feet. That worked out perfectly. I didn't even have to cut the dowel rod. Okay, so now I have to tackle this stuff and this is where like I, I felt like I was okay on my ideas for the base but after that after that we're a little lost so I'm just gonna fill this up with some glue if I ever go off the camera let me know okay so I'm filling this guy up with some glue so that's pretty sturdy put some glue around here like, I'm an over-gluer. I don't know if anybody else is, but, like, I was thinking it would make an interesting video to drop some of my miniatures off the roof and see if they hold together because I am an over-gluer. And, um, yeah, I want my stuff to stick. It's got to stick together. I think it may come from, like, the architecture background, like, where you just got to make sure, like, you got to make sure your buildings are going to stick together. And so my miniatures, it just, it transferred to my miniature making. Everything's got to stick together. So that's pretty good, I think. My, my uh, miniature room, do you mean the one that like my um, figurines are in or my Adam's family house? Do you mean like 12th scale? Every, most everything I do is 12th, 1 12th scale. Um, that's just the... Um, that's the scale that I'm comfortable working in. I have done, uh, what was I gonna say? Guys, I am so, like I've been taking care of a sick kid all day. <laughs> My brain's just bleh. Oh, I have done one half scale project and I didn't make, like I made the bed, but everything else I didn't make because half scale is just kind of scary to me. It's so tiny. And the people who work in quarter scale, which I used to have to make um, models in quarter scale, but I didn't like school models, like models of buildings, but I didn't have to make the furniture. And if I did, it was very like basic, basic, basic. Okay. Yes, one twelfth is my my main my main scale. Okay, so my thought is I'm just gonna wrap this around. And then I'm going to go back, can y'all see? <laughs> I'm going to wrap this around kind of tightly, glue it down, and then I'm going to go back and make like different sprigs, is that the right word, sprigs sticking out of it. And I'm going to obviously have to kind of like give it a haircut after I do this. Ooh, there was some wet glue still on there. Okay, it was already gluing and I wasn't ready. This is 15 feet, so we should be good. Let's get it controlled here. All right, so I'm just gonna start. <laughs> I got all my wires crossed here. Okay, I'm just gonna start gluing. Get this guy glued down. All right, try not to burn myself. So is anyone else, what, what kind of miniature Christmas scenes do we got going this year? That was not good English. 
sorry. Um, what miniature scene, Christmas miniature scenes have we got going? Or are you doing something holiday wise that isn't Christmas? I think it'd be fun to do like a cookie decorating scene or I don't know, something with a fireplace. Um, miniature stockings. Well, that's still Christmas, but that's, that's kind of the holiday I celebrate. So that's what my mind sticks on. It's Christmas traditions. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go digging for the hot glue sticks. Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay. I gotta go get the hot glue sticks. Okay, before I continue with this, after I go get the hot glue sticks, we're gonna give this a haircut and see if this is even, if this is even worth pursuing. Okay. Ah, I'm covered in foam. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, got the hot glue. I made sure I had plenty of hot glue. Normally, I use tacky for pretty much everything, but this project is definitely a hot glue project. All right. I also should have found my wire cutters. Um, That'll be a fun adventure later because this is definitely got wire in it. Okay, so this is the craziness we got going on right now, but I'm going to definitely have to cut him down. But I like really um, dense, fuzzy Christmas trees. So um, having a layer underneath it is perfect for me because I do not... Like that's one of my tests before I buy a Christmas tree is I got to make sure I cannot see because we do fake trees that I cannot see that plastic pole down the middle. I don't want to see that part. It's got to be fluffy enough to cover up the pole in the middle. So, okay, sorry about this. I have a old glue gun that it doesn't want to work. So I just have to push it. Like I have to push the glue with my shoulder while I push the thing. Anyway, problems of a crafter. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and give it a haircut to see if this is going to work. Plus, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put my tree skirt, but that's, that's a problem for the future. Okay, so let's get the scissors and start cutting this down a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Is this working? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. It, we may find out at the end of this that using a bottle brush is just going to be your best bet. Look at that. That's like a totally different texture from the rest of everything else. But I actually kind of like that better. I wish the whole thing was like that. Look how thin that is. I'm guessing it was like ripped to shreds or something. Okay, so it's looking not as horrible in the parts that I cut, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to trust my miniature instincts here. <sighs> okay, come on glue gun. Let's see, sometimes I can reach my finger all the way back and press the glue through and that helps. Okay. There we go. 
<laughs> this looks so ridiculous. Okay. I'm just going to have to like hold it and hope that I don't burn myself while I'm holding it. It's so weird. It's got so many textures in it, but like our Christmas tree, we just bought a new one because we moved and like our ceiling heights went down by two feet so we had to get a shorter tree and the tree that we our new tree actually is um it's got like the regular branches in the back and then the ones up forward are a completely different material different color but it looks okay so and i can't see the middle pole which means it was okay with me. So it's kind of reminded me of our tree where it's got all these different textures. Plus, I kind of like skinny trees. Like ones that, can y'all even see my hands? Skinny ones that kind of go up. Like I, I'm, I don't like the short squatty ones, but now that I have short squatty ceiling heights, I gotta have a short squatty tree. <laughs> I'm glad you're seeing me struggle. This is real life. <laughs> okay. It's also very out of my comfort zone because, like I said, I'm, I am one that completely plans every single thing that I do. And coming into a thing that I've never done before is not in my comfort zone. All right. So, we have a tightly wrapped little tree here. Okay, we're going to continue to cut him down and see what we got. I kind of want individual branches sticking out, um, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks. kind of shaping into a tree kind of what do y'all think okay now it's time to find the the cutter things the wire cutters i'm gonna be covered in everything See, I usually think through every single detail of, remember, you have to cut the wire. So get the wire cutters. Have them right here next to your workspace. This is totally, I'm just flying by because I wasn't even planning on streaming this tonight until the flu happened. So, yep, you're seeing raw miniature creation experimentation. Nothing refined about this. We're just guessing. Okay. Oh, this is a messy, messy tree. Alright. Can I do this in two hours? I don't know. And I didn't even think about a topper for the tree. Hmm. I have to make one, maybe. Okay, he's kind of, <laughs> kind of like a Dr. Seuss tree a little bit. Okay, let me clear this off just slightly. Get rid of the foam. That worked well, but foam is gross. I do not like it. And they had the other kind of foam, like the really soft stuff. stuff. But you could see like every kid in Dollar Tree had like stuck their finger into it and it was very, it was very deformed foam. Okay, I might keep these trimmings to add to the tree later. Yes, if I made this black and just stuck it in the corner, it could definitely be an Adams Family tree. So let's 
cut this guy down just a little bit more. Alright, I'm kind of liking the tree bottom a little bit. Like, I think that worked out. Okay, let's move this stuff over. Now I'm going to attempt to cut pieces and see if it'll look good as like individual branches. That's my next attempt. So I'm glad I found the wire cutters. Um, hmm. Kind of like, like that maybe? Let's see. Thankfully it's not that hard to cut. Let's see, kind of keep the same sizes. Alright, so let's cut these down and see if this is even an avenue I want to go down. Okay, so if we cut it down, it kind of looks, I mean, that's kind of in scale. Kind of. If you had a really fake plasticky tree with big big pine needles so if I stuck that kind of here and there I think I'm gonna like that so let's stick that on let's see what do y'all think kind of if I go around it'll stick over the edge let me try that. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of cutting. Luckily, this is kind of flattened, so I really only have to cut two sides. So there's another one. This is going to be a vacuuming nightmare in the morning. Oh, well. And it's gonna get stuck to my dog, and it's gonna be all over my house. I can see it now. But at least it's Christmas, so people might think it's from my tree. Okay. This is the point in my regular videos that I would fast forward for you so you didn't have to sit through this boringness. The other thing I was going to plan for the live stream in the morning, which is happening right now, is I was going to try and find music so that I didn't feel like I had to talk nonstop all the time, <laughs> which is what happens. But it's hard because you have to find not copyrighted music. All right, so. I don't know how many layers of these I'm going to do. I don't want to be here all night. Hmm. Do we want to make a whole tree or just a really good half of a tree? What do you think? <laughs> a whole tree with no sleep or a good half of a tree with some sleep? What? What do you think? I don't know. Okay, does anyone else do this on their tree that when they get it out, they push the limbs up like this, like little octopus tentacles? I do. All right. What if I just made half a tree? Like if this was, can y'all see? If this was a wall and I just made the tree so that it goes up against the wall. Or is that just me being lazy? Let's just continue. We'll see. We might run out of this stuff. Oh, wire cutter. So I guess we'll see. We'll just keep making a bigger and bigger pile of green stuff. Another one. Mariah, do you agree on the half tree or the whole tree? 
Or are you agreeing I'm just being lazy? <laughs> because it could be any of those things. Okay. I'm going to cut this guy off. Cut this guy off. Another limb. I'm wondering if there's like something I could paint right now. I could be drying while I put limbs on the tree. Like ornaments. Oh, yes. Um, in Comptech. I'm not sure what that is. I've used some of his music in my stuff, but is there a place where I can just like go play it in the background? Because that would be great. It would fill the silence. What I need is someone to come sit next to me and talk to me. And that would help a lot. I have a local miniature friend. I just need to have her come over. Half tree is okay. Say, because a whole tree, like, you have to kind of fudge things a little bit when you make a dollhouse because there's not a lot of room in there. And a whole tree, you wouldn't even see the back, you know. So a whole tree would take up a lot of floor space. Okay. I'm getting that half a tree is good, so maybe we'll just do half a tree so we can go to bed. I'm talking enough. Should I stop talking? <laughs> uh, I'm a nervous talker, so if I'm nervous, I just keep going until someone says, stop talking. Nervous talker, planner. Oh my goodness. That's true. The back of my um, tree is not decorated. Except for the ornaments that you don't, <laughs> that, you know, you have to keep, but um, you don't really want anyone to see. And I'm not just talking about like kids ornaments, but does that make sense? Does anyone have those ornaments where you're like, I, like, I can't throw this away, but I really don't like how it, you don't, I don't like it. Okay, so what do you guys think about these branches coming out at the bottom? So it kind of looks like a, like a foot. <laughs> like a leg and a foot right now. But I'm going to put more branches on top. So let's keep going, because right now we have a tree foot. Okay. Let's just keep going. Let's just make it better. Okay, put another layer, let's put him kind of towards the back, and another one. My grandmother used to have like all these beaded ornaments from the 60s or the 70s, like they had a um, a relative that made beaded ornaments and they were like these little people with like hats and I thought they were so cool and this was before I was interested in miniatures but they were so neat and I would play with them all the time but I remember I don't remember which relative it was but someone talking about how how ugly they were and that you know they were on the back of the tree or they should be on the back of the tree or something like that and I just I thought they were really cool. I kind of wish that I had some of them, but I don't really know what happened to them. I thought they were cool. Alright, so we're still going with the just the front of the tree, which is going to save me definitely some time. We've been working for, oh my goodness, 30 minutes? 30? 40, 40 minutes? And I only have a tree foot? Oh my goodness. Okay. How long does it take y'all to decorate your real tree? That's what I want to know. This year it took, um, I don't know. We, we spread it out over two days, I think, of putting it up and then we did the ornaments. Probably all in all it took like three hours, but that's in between my three-year-old breaking ornaments 
Um, his ornament broken count is up to four, I think, now. We have, like, a pile. And uh, he just brings me an ornament every now and then, and I put it in the pile. And then when I have time, I super glue them back together. He's very helpful, and he wanted to help a lot with the three days. It was three days? I don't remember it being three days. Maybe he's counting because it's really not, still not decorated. That's what my husband said, three days. Uh, because there's a big bow on the counter that I have not put on the top of the Christmas tree yet. So maybe it's still not finished. Mine has been up for two weeks waiting, but I have and have been sick since. That is understandable. Well, I hope you feel better. Do you have one that has like already lit lights? Because that is very helpful. And just having the tree with the lights lit up, like that would be enough for me. Like I just think that's so beautiful. And it helps when the tree already has the lights on it. Mariah, do you mean a whole day? It took you a whole day to put it up? Because <laughs> it'll probably take me a, a whole day with breaks. Plus other things. Like I haven't, I have so many other things that I haven't put up <sighs> in the green tubs in the garage. But this year we have a new house. Here's the progress on the tree. We have a new house, so I don't, like, like I had 10 years of knowing where every single thing was going to go, and um, now I don't, like, none of the normal nails of the things that I, I put up are there, so I'd have to go get the nails, get the hammer, put those up, and then put the things up, so I just haven't been in, it just hasn't been as, like, um... What am I trying to say? It hasn't been as meth methodological, meth method, where you just, like, you have a system. Systemological. <laughs> it hasn't been as easy to get things up because they haven't been going in the regular places. Okay, so here's with the second row. And I might trim some of these down a little bit. Let's get going on another row here. With breaks. Red berry. Yeah, that sounds gorgeous. Good job on choosing that tree. I saw ones with pine cones, and I really liked the pine cones. I'm thinking next time also I might want to get a flocked tree where they have, like, the snow on the branches and, like, just not put any ornaments or have, like, two trees and one has the ornaments and the other one just... just Looks like it just came from a forest or something. I'm perfectly okay with just a lit up tree. I used to go and sit in the living room and make sure the tree lights were on and just sit there and look at the tree and just be in the quiet. I love that part about Christmas. I wouldn't read or anything. I would just sit there in the dark and look at the tree. I love that. Oh, you did that yourself. Well, that's even better. <laughs> that is actually a good idea. What am I looking for? Oh, here. Um, that is a good idea. Are they real pine cones? Do they hold together? All right. Gonna have to make some shorter branches now as we're getting a higher up the tree. Luckily, as we go up the tree, less and less branches are needed. This is gonna, this could be my cousin it tree. If he gets much furrier. I saw, let's see, we had some friends, we went to their house and they had a flocked tree. It was so pretty and she did like light blue ornaments. It was very pretty. But she said that the, the flocking 
the white powder that's on the branches comes off really easily. So she just constantly has to vacuum it up. But just my regular daily life, I have to vacuum up. So <laughs> really wouldn't be a change for me. Mud from shoes, pieces of paper, um, just everything. Crumbs, pieces of lunch. <laughs> okay. So I need to start thinking about how I'm going to decorate this tree. Do I want to do like a... Leslie's kind of making me think of maybe like a more rustic, outdoorsy. I did bring... I'm losing... I'm losing them in here. Uh, I did bring my white paint over so I could make this tree flocked, kind of. Just with white paint. Like, I don't have any, like, white powder or anything to make it really look like that. But I may not need that in miniature. So maybe we can flock this tree. Maybe so. Okay. Have I gotten them all? Nope. There's another one. Camouflaging everything. What else? What else? Oh, yesterday I led a group of ladies that I work with in like a painting with a twist type thing. And we painted these wooden plank, um, the pallet plank trees. I didn't put them together. Somebody else did. But um, I led them in painting those. And I was so nervous because it was like a room of like 40 people. But it turned out to be really, really fun. I really enjoyed that. And um, I, I'm an art teacher, so it's kind of like, let me make sure I'm on camera. It's kind of easy for me to translate into teaching to a, a larger group, but it was like people my own age, which was very weird. And so I was very nervous, but we got through it and everyone seemed to enjoy it so every time i've been with painting with a twist they've offered me a job so maybe i should start working at painting with a twist that would be fun i need need a, a bit of extra cast has anyone ever done um painting with a twist or there's other companies that do that um, it's the one where you go in and they give you a canvas and you kind of, they lead you through a painting. That's pretty fun. Although I'm sure you guys are all creative types and so you kind of do your own thing and like they tell you to do a blue sky and it ends up like orange and yellow and <laughs> that's what I do. I kind of do my own thing and then they're like, you didn't do what I asked you to do. No, I didn't. Okay, what are we thinking? Looking good? Yes? No? Maybe so? I'm kind of liking it. I mean, it still needs some trimming. Um, I'm thinking like some tinsel hanging off would be cute. What I'm really thinking is, have you seen those hot glue gun, like colored, um, glues that you can like stick in this part of the glue gun like I think it would be really cool if they had like a silver one and I could like make my own tinsel but it would be really thin and stringy like the glue gun string but I've never used one of those colored ones before has anyone ever used those do you think that would work because that kind of would be um that would be awesome if that would work. And it might be easier than trying to cut my own tinsel, which is kind of a crazy idea. Oh, no, I'm not an art major. Not really. I um, am a architecture, like I studied architecture and I was at a school where architecture was the most artistic, um, artistic uh, major that they had. Sorry that I can't talk, but blah, 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 blah. Um, 
so I did not study art. What happened is I went to school for architecture and then I graduated, which is why I like to do um, like, I don't know if you've seen my videos where I do the, the silhouette cameo so I can draw out the furniture, put it into a program. Um, so that's all from the architecture background, being able to, to think in that way. Um, and I actually worked in an architecture firm for four years, two different firms for four years. And um, it wasn't really for me, like there wasn't enough creativity. Of course, like I didn't go all the way. I didn't get my master's. Um, I keep losing this. So I was an architectural intern and when you're an intern, you basically just do what other people tell you to do and you get paid they just intern is the word for you're not an architect yet so because they really want you to be an architect so you get like kind of like a a lowly not that interns are lowly but kind of a that kind of a term so that you're encouraged to get your degree I guess that's my theory at least Anyway, it wasn't very, it wasn't creative enough for me. Like in college, I really enjoyed, you know, all the projects, like the fantasy projects where I got to build a tower for a fictional character and build a home for an eccentric couple and all these things that you don't really do in real life as an architect. And so I loved that part of school, um, but I didn't, I didn't like working, uh, in the architecture firm like okay I need a board here and I need two screws here and I need this here and this here like that just really like was killing the creative side of my brain so um, we came an opportunity in our family um, my husband got an opportunity and I was um, able to quit my job luckily it was well not luckily unfortunately for a lot of people, it was at a time where the architecture um, world was kind of suffering. People were getting laid off. But for us, it was an opportunity for me to go and get my Texas teachers learning, like certificates, not really. Anyway, I just went through the program and, um, and I took the test to be able to teach art and technology. And so, um, sorry, make sure I'm on camera. Uh, I did that and shortly after that I got pregnant with my first child and I got very sick so I never actually went and taught full-time um, and got my full-time because you have to teach for a year to get your teaching license so I never was able to do that because I was sick and then I wasn't sick and then I had another child and then um, I got this opportunity through our church's private school and so I am the art teacher there. In a private school you don't have to have a certificate even though um, I could get that if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy being able to do that and I only work two days a week and so those other days I'm able to, you know, be a mom like on these days where um, the child is sick and needs to be at home. So. It's really like the most ideal job ever because I have the creativity side and um, the mom side and it just really, really works out. So are y'all tired of hearing me talk about that? Okay, back to the tree. I'm cutting all this stuff off and we're getting close because I don't think I can put too much on the top. We might be getting close to being done with this part. I didn't see, did anyone, has anyone had um, experience with the colored um, glue sticks for the glue gun? Because I've seen them, I've just never picked them up. Because not until this moment on stream have I thought of something to do with them. I really think that it would be cool. Like I've seen people make, um, spider webs with like regular hot glue and that's a pretty cool idea but I hadn't thought of anything for the colored ones so if you think of something or you try them out let me know I might go get some 
just to try it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a massive pile right here. Uh, so I need to save them for something because you never know. Because as soon as you throw it out, you're going to go, oh, I really need a massive pile of pine needles for this project. <laughs> Darn, I threw it out. Like when I did my posable skeletons. <clears throat> you painted the hot glue string, so that's a good idea. I could just put... If the tinsel's not working, I could paint them silver. That could work. To use, you've used them in molds to, oh, that's a good idea. I, I have to admit something. I have not used molds a lot. The thought of making a mold, making the thing to make a mold to make another thing tires my brain <laughs> for some reason but I do want to try it and my husband has been interested in looking at 3d printers which would kind of be that kind of process or I could make molds I'm not really sure yet I don't know <sighs> like is anybody else's brain just tired you've used the glitter hot glue in your Ruin oh it ruined your gun. Ooh. Well this one's kind of messed up anyway, so maybe <laughs> maybe this one would be a good one to use. Cause it is kind of messed up. I have to push it through anyway. Like do you how did it ruin it? Did it like ruin the trigger or just gunked it all up? Can you still use it? Hmm. I'm not a big glitter person, so maybe I wouldn't use the glitter one, but like, I think there's a silver one. I'm pretty sure. I didn't look at them closely. The molds at Michael's. Maybe I need to, that's what I need to do, is start with molds that somebody else made and practice with that before I try the whole make them myself thing. All right, we're getting close to the top of the tree. Let me give you an update. What do you think? Like, is it too spaced out? I mean, once I put stuff on there, I think it'll be okay. A mum. I've thought about making mums. Eventually, I'll probably have to make one when my child gets older. Does everyone know what a mum is? Because when I moved to Texas, I had no idea what a mum was. And then I show up at school one day, and there's this girl with this giant flower around her neck walking down the hallway, and I thought... She looks ridiculous. What is she doing? And then I realized everybody had a giant flower around their neck, of course, except for me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had no idea what a mum was. And then my mom was looking at me like I was crazy because she went to high school in Texas. And uh, so I was like, you couldn't have told me <laughs> or, you know, introduced me to that at some point. But anyway... If you don't know, if you're not from Texas, you don't know what a mum is. It is a big, white, most of the time, fake flower. And it has like a big ribbon. And most girls wear it around their necks. And they keep getting bigger every year. Like they can be this big. Multiple flowers. And they have like streamers with the whoever's mum it is that has their name. It has their year. It has their school. Like written in like glitter. And there's like, sometimes there's huge stuffed animals stuck to them. They're huge. And sometimes the guys get them and they wear them like up here, but they're not as big. They're like this big. So is that foreign to anyone else? Was I the only person that had no idea what a mom was? <laughs> uh, I was just thought it looked so crazy, but actually I was the one who was looking crazy without a mum. So it's kind of one of those twilight zone moments where you walk in and you're just like, like I'm pretty sure everyone else is crazy, but for some reason I'm the only one who's looking crazy. Have you ever had one of those moments? <laughs> just something is happening all around you and it does not make sense, but everyone knows about it but you. That was one of, one of my twilight zone moments. So, anyway, my daughter will for sure know about 
mom's, mostly because she'll probably grow up here. Um, and I'll probably make her one. I was thinking about making mom's that are more like uh, everyday, Corinne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had those days. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about making mom's, but making like alternative mom's where they're like, more like antiqued and older looking like they've been around for years just like my normal aging stuff yes yes mums are an actual flower but i don't think the mums that they make in texas for homecoming look like the mums that are what most people in the world think of so they were pretty crazy but I, I guess I better be careful saying that because there's some, you know, Texas people who would be pretty upset with me calling their moms crazy. But that was just the view of, I was a senior when we moved to Texas. And so I was only in high school in Texas for one year. And I just remember that moment of craziness. Okay, it's getting a little bit more difficult as I get to the top. But I think we're getting close to being done with this very boring part of the project. But it's turning out, I think. I'm kind of liking it. And I like that we only did half a tree. Conserves space. So here we go. I don't think I'll do too much at the top because even on like fake real size trees the tops just kind of go and it's hard to hang ornaments up there because they're so short the limbs are all short and they're the ones that get like smushed down in the box when you put it away so I'm not really gonna worry about that part too much I really haven't burnt myself that much I'm really surprised like this glue is kind of sinking into the tree I think and I already have a ton of hot glue stuff everywhere. This has like a bulge. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like a bulge right here. And it's kind of bugging me. I'm trying to squish it down. We'll just have to compensate with bigger limbs on the other side maybe. Okay, so I'm thinking I can also fill it up with some of the moss that I got, maybe. I remember back when I was high school, might as well just talk about everything high school. My mom would take us to the mall and they always had these huge, beautifully decorated trees and you could bid on them. And I was just amazed, like all the things that people put on trees that you wouldn't normally think of, and but they were beautiful. Like they'd put, like this one tree was huge and had basketballs as ornaments. Like it was huge, but who would bid on that? Like whose house is big enough to have a basketball tree? You know? That was random. Um, what was I thinking? Oh yeah. So, but... I think that was like the year when the trends started with people like putting sticks in the tree and now they have sticks that are um, painted silver and they kind of stick out so that's what I was kind of thinking with that moss stuff so I need to start thinking about that because we're getting closer to decorating yay I think I'll flock it first because I think y'all were excited about that idea about painting the limbs so I do want to do that, and I think I have to do that before I um, put any ornaments or anything on. And if it gets too late, like I was thinking about going to 9.15, because that would be about two hours, which is my normal stream time. If it gets too late, I may not have time to like remake the presents, um, but we'll try to at least get the tree somewhat decorated. And then I can maybe post an update or post, I can post a picture on my Instagram after I finish it. My goal with this was to make a realistic looking tree, a realistic looking tree out of 
dollar, dollar, dollar store materials. That was my goal. Because I feel like that's pretty big. That's a pretty big task to make something look realistic out of dollar store stuff. Because you really don't think about dollar store stuff as having the quality you need to make miniatures. At least I don't. Um, there's some stuff that you can like, you know, really manipulate with other items into making it look miniature because dollar store is like treasure, treasure, treasure store. There's so much stuff there. Um, but you really like, you, I feel like you have to incorporate so many other things to make some dollar stores dollar. I'm, I'm just gonna have to quit talking. <laughs> uh, there's so many things you have to do to make dollar store items work sometimes for your crafts, but that's why I think it's a challenge to make something look realistic out of all dollar store items. And one Hobby Lobby item, <laughs> which was, if you missed it, where's the Hobby Lobby item? Little lights. So I'm sure if I waited and was patient, I could find a dollar store with some kind of little light up thing. I'm sure I could, but I'm not patient and I didn't search very hard. Okay, so just like three more limbs maybe? I'm gonna say three and then I'll show, you, show it to you and we can vote if it's finished. How about that? Three more limbs. I think that would be plenty because I do want to have room for decorating. Okay. One, oh, I have an extra limb that got hidden under my arm. It's always good when you find extra stuff. Okay. Almost there. Y'all are like troopers for sticking with me through this, this part of making the tree. Anyone going to try this? Just wondering. Or is everyone like, no. <laughs> I have a real life tree to deal with, I'm not making a miniature tree. Okay. All right. I have one that's kind of bigger, so let me get him on here. Glue gun. All right. Get him on. Ow. Okay. I spoke too soon. I said I didn't burn myself, but I just did. Stuck my finger right in there. One up here. Oh, we might need one more after this. Maybe one day. Yeah, I have a lot of maybe one day projects. You know, having a YouTube channel has made me do more miniatures than I would have done on my own just because like I like sharing miniatures if it was just me um well for for a while it was just me um in my own little work room and I'd be like yeah I finished it nobody <laughs> and so like YouTube's given me that chance to share my miniatures and that is so much more fun it's actually not that hard. So the patience thing is, I think, I think will be a non-issue. I, I think you could do it, Mariah. Cause I think like if, if I wasn't on like the video camera, I just put on a movie and I just chop this thing, stick it together. And it's actually not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna vote. We're gonna vote. Is this enough branches? for this tree. Try to do a small, get it. it takes too much to some, it takes some time and dedication. It does, it definitely does. And if I had a full-time job, no way, no way I could do this miniature channel at all. Like, it would be impossible. So I'm very thankful for that, being able to have that time to do miniatures and everything else. Okay, Corinne votes yes, it is enough. Let me trim some, some really long ones. Mariah votes yes. Okay, 
Let me trim some. Here's the back of the tree. It still doesn't look like too bad. Like if you saw it, like if you had like a dollhouse with um, like windows and you looked through it, like that's the back. So you could still see like the outline of a Christmas tree and I don't think it would be that weird. But the front has a lot more texture and detail to it. Okay. Everyone, I think, votes yes that it is done. So, we are done with branches. Trim him down just a little bit. So I try, this is reminding me, I try to give my son a haircut. Big mistake. He screamed for, it took me an hour to cut his hair. Of holding him down, he was screaming, and it was all because of the little fuzzy hairs that got on his neck. He hated it. And he would just, anytime he felt hair land on his shoulders, he would just scream. And um, yeah, this tree is being much more well behaved <laughs> than my son. But I learned for sure it is worth it to take him to the little kid hairdresser. That is worth it. They have like a little plane for him to sit in. I was thinking, oh, I'll just do it real quick. I'll save some time. I'll save some money. Mm -mm. Not worth it at all. Okay, I'm gonna stick the tree there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all of this. See if I have something I can stick all of this in for now so I can clear my spot. Someday I'll do a room office tour so you know like where I'm going <laughs> when I go off to the side. I have lots of cabinets and stuff. Okay, so putting this in like a little, my little tray. And it's not super clean, but it's cleaner than it was. Cause this moss is gonna be messy too. I can see it coming. Messy moss. All right. Thank you, Leslie. I'm liking it too. I really did not honestly expect it to turn out that way. So I am pleasantly surprised. All right. So now we are going to flock the tree. And I need my paint palette, which I didn't get. Okay. This one will work. And I'm just going to do like a dry brushing effect. And um, so I've talked about that a lot in my videos, but I'll show you again if you want. Just kind of, I don't know what kind of brush I want here. Something a bit wider and fluffier, I think. This one's very stiff. Okay, so I'm going to get just a little bit of paint on my brush and then I'm going to dab it off because I want to start light because I can always add more but I can't take it away so that's the beginning so it's not putting like a ton of white on there um, but it's just kind of giving it that frosted look and it's also helping brush off the remaining long pieces that I cut off I'm gonna brush this guy. So this should probably not take that long. I think I'm gonna like this frosted. Plus, because we wrapped it earlier, it's still gonna have that dark green way in the back. So I am happy with that. All right, so there we go. We're starting to get kind of a frosted tree still think the branches like I think this will kind of start really start over I think this will really start to point out those ones that are kind of sticking up crazy so it might be a little even easier to trim after I get it all painted and I'm just gonna do the top of the branches because like if the snow fell it would just it would land on the top This is kind of fun and relaxing. 
imagine like flocking a real tree is not this relaxing or this clean. Okay. All right, I may, after this, I may just kind of like bring out all the other stuff so we can look at it again because I already showed you, but I still forgot what all I had. So I don't put something on there and think, oh no, I should have put something else on there instead. But I can also kind of play around with it and see what looks good. So we got, oh, we still got plenty of time. We got about 45 minutes to decorate this guy up before I am exhausted and have to go to bed. <laughs> I am no, I used to be a night owl. I used to be, I mean, you have to be in architecture college. You have to be because, well, like not even just a night owl, you just have to stay up three days in a row, like straight to get your stuff done sometimes. Or at least I did because I was, I just wasn't a fast worker. But no longer can I do that. I cannot. Aw, thanks, Leslie. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you were able, able to join us. So, um, I know Mariah has been at one of the morning ones. Maybe Corinne. Um, Y'all let me know if you like the nighttime streams better. Um, cause I don't, I mean, it's definitely two different times of the day. Um, I know, um, Joanne joins a lot of times and she's in Australia, but it's like two in the morning. So I don't know if nighttime would also be better for people not in the United States. I don't know. I am a streaming newbie. So, and I'm not good at geography either. Okay. So I'm going to trim up, so this is how it looks, I'll show you that. I'm going to trim up the top just a little bit to kind of give it that more pointed look. Okay. Okie dokie. So, I am, I really like that. I am liking it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brush in the water that I brought. I'm gonna drink some iced tea. Ah, sorry if you can hear me swallowing. I'm thirsty. Okay, Mariah says either time works for her. I've thought that if it ever comes to pass that I start making money on YouTube and um, start making it more of a full-time job, I might do a morning and an evening one, so two streams per month. So, um, okay. All right, Corin. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so y'all letting me know about the streams helps me a lot because I can like read articles on when's the best time to stream, but if you guys are my audience, I really just, I need, I need to know what's best for you guys because that's who I want to watch is my audience. Okay. Find a place where I won't make a paint mess. Okay, so let's revisit my dollar store stuff. Let me open this. This is the Spanish moss, and I've used this stuff before, and it makes a huge mess, but it has a really cool texture, and it's very, very earthy looking. Um, I have these little berry guys, so I could cut them off in clusters and kind of stick them in the tree. Um, I think, like, pulling off, I c let's see, let's experiment. Just pull one of these things off. Cause I'm not gonna use the whole thing. See how easy it is to get just one piece off. Cause I could kind of do like Leslie's tree and put berries, stick berries in there. So that would be kind of cool. The first one I was, I would watch anytime. All right, cool. Okay. 
So we've got the berry option. We you could either put it in clustered. Let's see if I can get the. Ooh, I can take the whole thing off. So here's it clustered. I think that might be too big. It kind of looks like a raspberry sitting in the tree. I think I'd have to tear it apart. So I don't think that would look very good in scale, but I can kind of tear it apart and put the berries on there separately. I also have these um, sparkly glittery ones. I think this is the only glitter thing I have. I have these individual ones which I'm kind of hesitant to open because I imagine it's like an exploded beanbag chair and it's going to go everywhere. So if y'all think the red berries just themselves would look good, I might just stick with picking off the red berries <laughs> and leave this guy closed, but three together, that's a good idea. We shall see. We shall see. I don't know. I have reservations on that. And then I have the tinsel, which is way out of scale, but could be cut down, which would be another, like, waiting for Aira to cut the tinsel type of thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's the other things I have? Oh, I also have the raffia, which I was thinking I could use, kind of like, you know how people wrap it with ribbon? So it would just be a really, um, like, natural looking ribbon wrapped around it. And there's one other thing. Ah, the twine. There we go. My workstation's getting a little messy. I know you can't see it, but it's getting a little messy. And so I could also do, um, like, the twine wrapped around. Um, okay, so what do we think? We should start with the moss and just kind of see how it looks putting moss here and there. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So this moss, you can just kind of, like, pull pieces out like that. Like, if you take the whole thing out, it's like this everywhere. Dirt and, I mean, because I think it's real. I think it's like, it's, it's real. <laughs> it's actually like dead moss, I think. So it will get everything dirty. So, yes on the berries, yes on the raffia. Okay, I think we're on the same page here about how we're going to make this guy look. I think we're on the same page, which is good. Okay, let me get my pan to clear stuff, clear off some of this stuff, and we'll see how the moss starts to look. So if I stick that kind of in there, I don't know, does that even add anything? That may not even really add much. Let's see. It might just make it kind of messy because the branches are already kind of messy. What do you think? I don't know. That might just make it look bleh. Because my tree's kind of fuzzy. Hmm. <laughs> Let's add just a little bit more. See what we think. Y'all let me know what you think. I'm starting to think no on the moss. It may be something I can add around the bottom. Ooh, what if I just added it around the bottom so it looked like it was sticking out of the bottom? Thoughts? Thoughts? Hold off on the raffia or the moss? Because this is the moss that I'm showing you. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking no on the moss. Okay. Um, we're, we're on the same page again. Awesome. Okay. Let's start with the berries. Yeah. We'll start with the berries. Put this in my trash pile. And I'm thinking, well, I was trying to save that berry, but I just lost it. That's okay. We've got plenty of berries. Do we want to also do gold berries or just red berries? I think this is going to be a very, like, natural looking tree. I think that'll be cool. 
Let's see if I can get them off three at a time. N nope. Maybe. Maybe not. If I hold it really still and let's see. I'm just gonna glue them on. Let's see. You can always pull them off and then re-glue them. All right, let's get that guy in there. All right, so we got, oops, can y'all see that? A set of three berries on a limb. I think that looks cute. We could do sets of two and three, kind of spread out on the tree. What did y'all think about the gold idea? Because I have these gold ones too. So I could do gold and red. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna continue forward with the red. Keep going on there. I think that must have been just blind luck getting that threesome off because I'm not sure that's gonna happen again. I'm sorry I don't have like a front facing camera. Like I need to get a GoPro and just wear it like right here <laughs> so that y'all can see the front view here. So just red, gold, red and gold, red and gold. I like the red, so I'm going to put red here and there as we go along. What should I put on the top? Maybe a raffia bow? I, I am not good at tying bows. Never have been, not sure I ever will be. <sighs> We went, I went to a miniatures like retreat weekend where you can take classes and I took a class where they made a peddler woman and it was a really cool class. The teacher was awesome. I had so much fun um, and one of the dolls needed a bow for like her bonnet and I asked the teacher, I was like, would, would you please make the bow for me? And she literally turned around turned back around and was like here you go and it was a perfect bow it was amazing okay so I've got a few berries on there so I think those are looking really cute just like sitting on the ends of the limbs yes the class was in Texas it's through um, the society of uh, the the <laughs> Sorry, I just totally blinked. I'm trying to think of what the letters um, mean. Society of American Miniaturists. And um, so it's a, I mean, anyone can join it in the United States, but all of the meetings are in uh, Texas. And they're different parts of Texas. So if you're like in Oklahoma, there might be one that's closer to the border of Texas at some point. So, thank you, Spiritual Casino. You're back. Yay! <laughs> this is what we've done so far. So, we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, I might be running out of possible berries on here. Let's see. Once you get down, I mean, they're made out of foam. I think they're made out of the same, very same foam balls that are in here. So like once you start picking them off, the ones, the ones underneath are just like bare white foam. So you can only kind of get so many off of a cluster, I think. Um, maybe I can get two more. Let me do another cluster of three. And like the paint is coming off of them a little bit. So, I, but I can always go back with a little bit of red maroon paint and, um, kind of fix them up if I need to. Okay, like the hot glue gun threads are crazy. Okay, so I did another branch of three right here. So I definitely think the moss would have been way too much. So I'm glad we decided no on that one. Okay, I'm gonna get a new thing of berries. 
Let's put some gold on there this time. So here's my gold ones. Oh, the gold ones are even bigger. Let's pull off a berry. I thought it, if you're just joining us, I thought about putting the whole thing in there, but it, that's, it's just not gonna work. It is not in scale. All right, so let's take off a gold one. Where should we put the gold one? Right here. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the little gold one. Can y'all see that? There it is. Just sitting on the branch. So I might kind of group those as well. These are much squishier. Like I'm having a harder time keeping these from being completely squished as I pull them off. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, these are like more apt to break when I'm pulling them off. They're kind of scaring me. Don't break. Yeah, I think the gold, the gold is going to look more like ornaments, obviously, I think. But I think they, I think they complement the red really well. Okay, I'm trying to see if you all can see what I'm seeing. Can you see what I see? Okay. So, like, should I do a lot? I don't think I should do a lot. I'm like a less is more type of person. I mean, obviously I need to fill in down here. I kind of like I'm at the ends of the branches. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with the red and the gold. Like when I was teaching the class last night with painting, they were asking me, cause they were just painting ornaments on like circles on top of these green planks of wood and they're like, when do I need to stop? And I'm like, I I mean, it's up to you, but I stop. Like when you start asking, do I need to stop? Like stop. That's usually your cue. If you're wondering, then yes, stop. Time to stop. <laughs> Less is more. You can always add more later. Oh, I need another red berry. Oh my goodness. Some of these red berries are glittery. The ones I chose were not like at all. Well, they were a little bit. Like these right here are very gl glittery. Oops, there we go. The ones I had looked very plain. Hmm. So you have some glittery red and some not glittery red. I'm gonna put a red one next to a gold one. See how that looks. Whoops, <laughs> I just glued that white side up. That didn't look very good. Okay, so I put a gold one next to a red one. It's all right. Okay. And you're like, hey, stop talking and just finish with the berries already. Like if I could get the glue, like it, <laughs> this is what's happening with the glue on uh, my nails. And like I can't get it off right now because we don't have time we don't have time for that okay um how about a gold one uh, right there it's another good thing of doing um, the live stream earlier than I thought is because my nails are failing pretty badly so um, I got one more a day earlier um, I do not belong to name I have heard of name before um, I used to belong to IGMA and I just haven't kept up with my membership because like you know my miniatures dream was to become a fellow but then I realized like my miniatures are much more non-traditional and at least with what they're doing at least when i was looking into it 
It's very traditional. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like woodworking, like dovetail um, joints and stuff like that. Whereas I work a lot in paper and mat board, and I'm just not sure that they would like be into that because it's not traditional. So not that I, I don't want to be a part of the IGMA, um, which is the International Guild of Miniature Artisans, if anyone um, was interested in knowing that. Um, but um, it, I don't know if it'll ever be a category that fits really good at making old Adams Family type stuff. <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, in the future, I'll probably revisit it and see, you know, what they have going on. Um, but currently I'm happy with being a part of Sam just because it's local and um, kind of informal. And so I think that's, that's probably a good word for my miniatures is informal. That's just me in general, I think, informal. Okay, I need to get some on the bottom. Like I wish I could just prop it up like this. Maybe my wood glue can prop it up. Then maybe y'all can see it a little bit better. Thank you, Corinne. Um, this one's starting to fail a little bit. And then there's like stuff on the sides you can't see where it's starting to break. But I did get, did any of y'all watch my um, miniatures on my nails video? Because I got extra excited about my gel nail machine, which I don't know anything about like gel nails except like what I've learned in the past few weeks and I just got excited and was like I'm gonna put miniatures on my nail so um, I'm still learning I'm sure like the failure of this manicure is probably something I did wrong but I'm learning thank you yeah I um this is a low temp glue gun which is pretty much the only one I use because I can survive the burn <laughs> if I do accidentally touch my fingers so um the hot temp, oh man, I used the hot, uh, well, the only one I had available at the school was a hot temp one, and I was helping a student glue something, like I didn't let them use it, I used it, and they, they look at, at my face, I was like, I was just trying to hold in a scream because it hurt so bad, they're like, Miss Bentley, are you okay? But, um... I don't know if y'all want to hear my my glue gun as a band-aid story, but I'll tell it to you anyway. Um, <laughs> so here's what I got so far. I think I think I need more red. I think that's what I'm missing. I think I'm gonna keep the gold that I have and then just add more red. It's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. I was talking about you earlier because I was asking if this was a good time. Um, I had to move it earlier a little bit because of family sickness issues um, but let me know because I know you've been to every once so let me know if this is a good time for you anyway back to my glue gun story um, I uh, was crafting in the car which was probably my first well was my first dumb idea I was crafting in the car was making a boat like hair bows and so I had fabric and I had a glue gun yes um, plugged into the car and what I did was I um, <laughs> I used the fabric scissors and I cut my finger like on the side of my thumb and I uh, was start I started to bleed and we we're in the middle of the road nowhere to stop and I uh, was like, okay, I can't get the my blood to stop, and my only solution was to use the glue gun. So I squirted some of the glue out, just like it was like on the edge of the glue gun tip, and I blew on it a little bit, and then I just like spread the glue over like the cut in my finger, and it stopped the bleeding until we could stop at a rest stop and get an actual band-aid. So, but it was a low temp. It was this one. This, oop. This low temp glue gun. It was a high temp. No way could I have done that. Can you put glitter on the big red ones? On the on the big red. Oh, these like right here, like add some glitter. 
could probably do that. So this is what we have so far. What do y'all think? More ornaments or berries? Less? I think I need, I know I need some more over here. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna put some more over here and you can kind of weigh in your opinion. I think I would need one here and a couple down here. I'm gonna put those on. I think I need another berry. Like once you start popping them off, um, you're not left with much underneath. Okay, got a new berry. Um, which one, which one, which one? This one. A few more, I, I was thinking of two. Like I always say, yes, I can add more later, but am I really going to sit down again with these little raspberry things and a um, hot glue gun and like stick them on? Probably not. Probably once I finish this tree, I'll probably won't touch it again. Because that's, that's the truth. <laughs> once I finish a miniature, it's probably done. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to get these three off together and put it on a middle branch. Is it possible? Yes, I did it. All right. Um, which branch? This one. Okay. I'm not liking the top of the tree. I'm not liking this, but I don't think adding more ornaments is going to solve that problem at all. No more berries, maybe some more gold. Put some more gold on, just a little bit. At least on the sides, the sides that are sticking out here. Ooh, that was a big glob of glue. Okay. The gold ones are much bigger and stand out much more, I think. And one here, almost done with the ornaments. And then I think the raffia maybe? I don't know, I don't think tinsel, like the silver tinsel is gonna work on this like more naturalistic look. What do y'all think? Even though I'm super excited about tinsel, like I want tinsel on my own tree, but I think I'm gonna have to wait until my son it's just a little bit older. Otherwise, it's going to be wrapped around everything. Okay. All right, we're gonna do another, another vote. Does that look, is that enough ornaments? Let me see if you can see. What about right here? Like I can see kind of where it's like missing when I hold it up to the camera. I don't know. Maybe I should put the raffia on and then if something's missing, I can add more. Okay. All right. Opinions, likes, thumbs up. All right. Now, if I had thought in advance Okay, so this was my thought, is that I was gonna make like this little like thing with nails in it that were like in the shape of a star and then I could like bend the wire around it and make these like cute little wire silver star ornaments, but I didn't do that. I forgot until I saw them today. Okay, so I'm gonna do the raffia, try and wrap the tree in the raffia, see how that looks okay and I honestly have not have not even messed with this stuff since the 90s when it was like all the rage to make those like flower bouquets that like poof out over doorways like I remember my mom had one over every doorway and they always had like this stuff sticking out of it so I haven't even touched raffia since then so if I struggle with this a little bit, it's because I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing with this, but let's get it open. Let's see if this is gonna work. 
because it seems like it might be a little bit stiff. Ooh, it's not really like ribbon at all. Okay. Can y'all hear that? <laughs> Joanne says, good luck. Thanks. I'll probably need it. I can't even get it unwrapped here. Do y'all remember this stuff in the 90s? Like on every single decoration in the house? Or was that just my house? We lived in the north, so maybe it was a northern thing. But it was everywhere. All right. Let's see. So if it kind of goes up. Kind of kind of like that. Yes. No. I mean, I can kind of like put some white on it too to kind of make it blend in. But I think, I don't know. What do y'all think? So that's the raffia look. I can also open up the twine and see if that looks good. Miss Anxiety, you remember it too. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like your name, Miss Anxiety. That probably should be my screen name too. I felt very anxious last night when I was teaching a room full of 40 people, but I made it through. I made it through. Okay. So there's this stuff. It's very rough, so it kind of goes with our rustic theme. And it's a little bit thinner than the raffia, so it could kind of wrap and like drape a little bit. Like I could maybe force it to drape like so. Can y'all see? What do you think? The raffia or the twine? Because I also have like the green twine. I don't know. I don't know. I like it up to this point, but I don't want to... <sighs> Opinions appreciated, if you have one. I think that's all I have is that for like wrapping it. Let me move this. Okay. Are you putting tinsel on the tree? Um, I thought about tinsel. Um, my thought on the tinsel was to get like those glue gun inserts that are like silver and like make really thin like things to put tinsel on there. I bought tinsel. I might cut one real thin just to see how it looks. Um, but these are the lights. Now these are not dollar store, I have to tell you. Um, uh, so yeah, I could open these up and see what these look like. See if we just like it with the lights. Because sometimes simple is better. And I can use all this stuff in other projects for sure. So no money wasted, it will come in handy again. I don't know about the raffia, but it will come in handy again. So these are the little lights from Hobby Lobby. So I can pull these off and see if we like these the best. The stars would be cute. Maybe I'll try and just hand bend one to see if it's worth making like a ton. Oh, is this going to be a mess? Why is this already tangled? Why? Should be organized. Okay, so obviously these are not in scale. Um, unless you have like giant lights. Uh, thank you, Kelly. That's so sweet. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so what do y'all think? Should I just go straight in with the lights? Um, because they are weighted. Um, can y'all let me see that? They kind of hang because they have a little bit of weight on them. Hmm. Make a star for the topper. It's a good idea. So 
I don't know. What do y'all think? I wish that the string wasn't green. Because <laughs> then you could see the string a little bit more. Okay. Y'all vote on Just Plain Lights, Raffia, or Twine. So Just Plain Lights, Raffia, or Twine for the tree. And I'm going to try and bend a star out of the... If I, this is the messiest my desk has been in a long time. Let me... Does anybody see? There they are. They were upside down. I'm going to try and bend a star. Lights, yes, but maybe in front of the raffia. That's a good idea. Wrap the lights in the red twine so they stand out. That's another good idea. Raffia looks the wrong scale. What if you wrap the green string around the light? The light string. Okay. It's getting more complicated, but these are all good ideas. I could, yeah, I could wrap the red and the light. Okay. So let's see if we can bend a star. Um, my pliers were somewhere. Pliers. Cool. Pliers for bending a star. Yes, everything was raffia. It was the popular thing. Okay. So let's see if we can remember our star shapes. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? We got the beginning, kind of, <laughs> of a star. Um. Maybe there. I might have made it too big. Or I might have made it just right. I don't think I could do that again in a million years. Make it the perfect size. So there's, well, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um, this one's a little... And I'm not sure how I'd get the ends to go together. I think I just have to make it smaller. Eh. Mm, I think I'd need to have like the little like nails and then like wrap it as a star, but it'd have to be like smaller, I think, so that I could like twist these together. Because if I could make it smaller and better looking, like little um, stars hanging off the tree limbs, it would be kind of cute. That would be cute. But I don't know if I have time to do that tonight. Okay. Um, let's see. Y'all had a lot of good ideas. I'm going to try and figure out the one... The one that I think will go quickly and accurately and still look nice. So, Raffia, you're going to start saying, make a decision, Aira, make a decision. Braid the Raffia and the twine. So wrap these together. I'm going to start getting so tangled up, so very tangled up. Mm. Okay, I uh, so many good ideas and so little time. I was going to try and have you guys done by 9.15 or have myself done by 9.15, but Let's see, I might just do a raffia bow on the top, even though I'm not a bow maker. Let's try that. And then maybe the raffia will look like more like a ribbon if it's got a bow. If I remember, this stuff kind of cracks if you fold it in half too much. Oh, splitting the raffia, that is a good idea. 
Y'all have too many good ideas. I'm going to have to have you submit them before the um, live stream so I have time to think through them. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's like a little bow. That's kind of cute. It's kind of big, but it's kind of cute. Okay, I might just make it a little bit smaller. I always put a bow on the top of my tree, so I think that's kind of why I'm drawn to it. Mostly because our last house, it didn't. there was no room between the top of the tree and the ceiling. So I didn't have a choice. I had to just put a bow on it. Okay. Oop. Mess everywhere. Okay, that's a little bit smaller. I kind of like that. Do y'all like that? It kind of covers the bumpy top of the tree that I don't like. Okay, I'm going to kind of go with that for now. I'll cut it down here. I'm going to glue the back of this bow so that it stays. Oh no, I'm running out of glue stick. Thanks, Corinne. <laughs> I'm glad you all think so. <laughs> I'm not good at thinking on the spot. I think about things for long, long. That's why I can't talk. I'm not good at thinking on the spot. There we go. I think about things for a long time before I make a decision. Okay, I'm liking that for now. The nice thing with this tree is if I rip it all off, all I have to do is add a little bit of white paint. And I don't think anyone would know. So I could redecorate it next year. I could just start with the tree base. Okay, where'd the bow go? Don't lose the bow. We did all that work for a bow. Make sure I find the front of my half tree. I'd be ashamed to only do half a tree and then not get the bow on the front. <laughs> that would be ironic, possibly. Is that the right definition? Okay. What if we take the raffia? Someone said just like split it. See if it'll split. It looks like it splits pretty naturally. Ooh, it's hanging on by a thread. Let me put a little bit more glue. Like I told you, I am an over gluer. I do not want things to come off at all. What if instead of wrapping the tree, seriously, hot glue everywhere. What if instead of wrapping the tree, I just had like the raffia kind of going through the limbs. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Maybe not. <sighs> okay. Y'all are seeing me in stress mode. Stress mode of making decisions. All right. I'm going to cut it off. Is that what I want to do? Cut it? Yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm just cutting it. Okay. Sometimes you just have to do it, or at least I just have to just make a decision. Make a decision. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of glue these arms down. Use my shoulder technique to push the glue through. I need a new glue gun, I'm thinking. Hey, stocking stuffer, husband, if you're watching. Stocking stuffer, I need a new glue gun. And glue uh, gun colors. So I can experiment. Okay, so here's the top of the tree. I might just leave the little raffia bow on the top and put lights. What do y'all think? I think, I think we might do that. Or I'll just drape the lights on there. I don't think I'm going to glue them. And then we might call it a night for the live stream. And then I can sit 
and have time to do my thinking process and then I'll post the finished tree on my Instagram at some point um, and y'all can kind of weigh in on your final thoughts. Does that sound like a plan? Because if y'all sit here and wait for me to think through everything, it's going to be midnight. I need like days to think through stuff. Um, here, I guess lights actually wrap all the way around the tree. So even though we're only doing a half tree, if you put hot glue on the end of a new glue stick, sticks to the, <gasps> Joanne, that is my favorite thing that I've ever heard. That is so smart. I am doing that. Like now I want to use all my hot glue so I can do that. You just changed my life and you saved my glue gun's life because he doesn't like to grab the next glue gun. Okay. Awesome tip. Okay. So here it is with the little lights hanging off of it. Um, when I put it on permanently, I will definitely like be a little bit more careful where I glue it and make it look a little bit more real realistic on where it's holding on. Like obviously not hanging off of an ornament. Um, but yeah, that is going to conclude the live stream for today. This is how far we got with, this is just dollar store items from the stand to um, the actual tree. It's all dollar store stuff. So um, it was really fun to try and come up with these items that you normally think I can't make miniatures out of that and like come up with something that looks fairly in scale. Let's do one final measure because I know we like added stuff to it. So it's now seven and a half inches, which my tree, my actual tree is um, seven and a half feet. So it is in scale for a 12 inch, for a 112 scale dollhouse. One last thing I didn't get to was the tree skirt, little scarf. So um, I'll probably, I'll put that around there too and kind of like cut it to fit. Um, and then I'll have like a little um, a tree display. Oops, as I knock it into the microphone. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I really enjoyed chatting with you guys. You guys had great ideas. Um, like I said, in the future, I might have to like come up with a project and like have you guys submit suggestions beforehand because you guys have a lot of really good suggestions so it's making it hard for me to make decisions because they're all really good so um my instagram is kind of like scrolling down at the bottom um if you want to just check back in a couple days or you can actually um check back on my youtube page because the when i post this live stream the um, cover or the thumbnail will be the finished tree, whatever I decide to finish it up with. So um, check back on that. But um, that's about it. Let's see if there's any last minute things. Thank you guys. Awesome. I'm so glad you all joined me. And um, next month, um, barring sickness or having to go to the doctor during my normal live stream time, it will probably be back on Wednesday morning. Um, but, um, I might consider doing another nighttime one, um, if that works for more people. So I'm still trying to figure that all out. So anyway, like I said a billion times already, thanks for joining me. And I hope you guys have an awesome December and I will see you in January. Bye. Okay. I gotta figure out how to turn it off. There we go.